Greetings, educators. Delighted to have you join us once more on the Skillful Classroom channel. Today, we have got a remarkable teaching tool, Concept Checking Questions, or CCQs. Stick around to see how CCQs can be a game changer. Imagine you're in your classroom teaching a lesson about a new topic. Let's say it's about different jobs. You're explaining words like doctor, chef, and teacher. As you're speaking, you notice some students nodding along, but are they really understanding? This is where concept checking questions, or CCQs, come in. CCQs are like your secret tool to make sure everyone truly gets what you're teaching. But watch out for the yes trap. You see, sometimes when we're teaching, we ask a question like, do you understand? And guess what happens? Almost everyone says yes, even if they're not entirely sure. It's like a friendly chorus of agreement that might not really reflect what's going on in their heads. And that's where CCQs come to the rescue. CCQs are designed to prevent this yes trap. They're special questions that are sneakily smart. Instead of asking a general question, they make your students think a bit more. CCQs gently guide students to show whether they truly grasp the concept or not. So no more getting tricked by the yes chorus. CCQs ensure you get a real understanding of what your students know. Let's see some simple examples to get the idea. First, we have questions with yes or no answers. These are strong for checking. When you point to a doctor and ask, is this a doctor? You want a yes if they understand. Then point to somewhere else and ask the same, but expect a no. This helps tell if they know the difference. Second, discrimination questions. Imagine you're teaching about different places in a town and you want to check if your students understand. You can ask questions to help them choose the right answer. For example, you could ask, if I need bread, do I go to the pharmacy or the supermarket? This type of question challenges the students to show they understand by picking the correct choice. Third, we have short answer questions. These questions are designed to confirm specific details. For instance, if you ask students, what's the name of the supermarket near you? You're prompting them to give a brief answer. By looking at their response, you can understand if they have grasped the concept of a supermarket. This approach helps you ensure that they have indeed understood the particular information that was given. Another way to check students' understanding is non-verbal affirmation. For instance, when teaching jobs, ask students, point to the doctor. In language learning, we often use non-verbal affirmation to check understanding. Just like this scenario, where a student is pointing to the doctor. This non-verbal cue helps confirm if the listener comprehends the concept being discussed. To sum it up, CCQs help us check if everyone is following the lesson. By asking simple questions, we make sure no one gets left behind. Craft CCQs for each topic as your teaching compass in your lesson plan. But remember, repetition is the mother of the skill. As you integrate CCQs into daily teaching, They'll become your skill, transforming your classroom into a vibrant hub of learning. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Skillful Classroom for more insightful content.